Hey guys, welcome back to The Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today from Fox News, I do want to just mention this. Under Donald Trump's peace through strength, we had no new wars. Now, under the establishment uniparty surrogate president, Joe Biden, we now have our second. This administration has hijacked our culture, hijacked our institutions, and weaponized our justice system against many of the American people here in our country. If you do not subscribe to, agree with, adopt any of the left's ideology, philosophies, and worldview, you are an enemy. You are a threat to the democracy that these Democrats and left are trying to establish in our country that has created the most divisive division in our country. And when our country is weak, our adversaries act. Now, here we have a second adversary, Hamas, emboldened by the weakness of our country and what's happening. So from Fox News, Israel declares war after Hamas surprise attack launches retaliatory airstrike in Gaza. So it's not unusual to see and be aware that Israel is going to counter what's happening there. Hamas strikes kills at least 600 Israelis. Prime Minister Netanyahu declares war. So Israel is at war. We've not seen this level of interaction they're in the Middle East in probably about 50 years. Israel's security cabinet officially declared war Saturday night after Hamas terrorists launched a surprise barrage of thousands of rockets into southern Israel, killing hundreds and wounding thousands, according to Israeli media. Israeli soldiers battled Hamas fighters in the streets of southern Israel a day after Iranian-backed Hamas terrorists invaded the area and launched rockets from, Gaza, from the Gaza Strip. Excuse me, guys killing at least 600 Israelis and wounding at least 2,000 others. So this has been an extraordinary time that we're living in right now. Russia invades Ukraine, and now Hamas attacks Israel. So when Donald Trump said if Joe Biden were elected, things were going to get really bad. I didn't use the exact words he said, but you understand what I'm saying. Things have gotten very bad in our country. It's, it's like we said here on the BuzzFeed channel, as things progress... The rest of this year and next, things are going to get wilder and wilder. It's just extraordinary. At least nine Americans killed in Hamas attack on Israel, State Department says. The State Department said Monday that at least nine American citizens have been killed in the week Hamas attacked on Israel, raising the toll from four. It says an undetermined number of American citizens remain missing and unaccounted for. On Sunday, an official said that num that number was fluid and had ranged from between six to twelve. It's not clear whether the missing had been taken hostage, were killed, or in hiding. So, ladies and gentlemen, we already saw what happened under the administration in Afghanistan. We saw the complete debacle of what Donald Trump had outlined that was going to work to ensure that when we left Afghanistan, it would have been a lot more measured, a lot more peaceful, and probably would not have led to as many deaths and probably the recovery of all of our equipment that could just as easily be in the hands of Hamas right now, not to mention the $6 billion that Biden sent to Iran, which part of that money is probably funding Hamas. Now, I can't prove any of that, but my apologies for right now. This morning, uh, a lot of stuff going on, so I will try to edit maybe a lot of this stuff out, but here we go. <clears throat> From ABC News, this was 19 minutes ago as of this recording. Biden, recording, recording. <laughs> Biden says U.S. death rise, rising in Israel confirms American taken hostage. So things are getting very serious over there. 14 Americans have been killed in the fighting in Israel. Palestine, or Palestine, sorry guys, like I said. 14 Americans have been killed in the fighting in Israel, President Joe Biden announced Tuesday, and he confirmed more are among those being held hostage by Hamas terrorists. We now know that American citizens are among those being held by Hamas, Biden said. I've directed my team to share intelligence and deploy additional experts from across the United States government to consult with and advise Israeli counterparts on hostage recovery recovery efforts. Interesting. Because as president, I have no higher priority than the safety of Americans being held hostage around the world. Not to mention you had the responsibility of executing a plan that was well thought out and organized in Afghanistan, but you didn't do it. I have very little faith. Very little confidence in what Joe Biden can do, what the administration can do. This is a very terrible time in our country and in the world right now. We are destabilizing. 
America could not be at its weakest. America could not be suffering as much as it's suffering now. And that suffering has spread around the world. The invasion of, of uh, Ukraine and now Hamas and Israel is absolutely inexcusable that our leadership in this country has reached such a debased nature. The ideologies, the philosophies, and the worldview of the left have completely eroded our country into an extraordinarily divided and divisive nation where if you don't agree with them, if you don't agree with the Democrats, if you don't agree with the left, you are an enemy to them. And this has created a destabilization, destabilization in our country. It is absolutely probably the worst I've seen in our country in a long time. But I would like to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Are you sensing that the ineffectiveness of this establishment uniparty surrogate President Joe Biden is creating a destabilization in the world? I'd like to get your thoughts. Thank you for hanging in there. My allergies are kicking in so badly today. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there as I got through this video. And of course, all you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube, thank you guys for your continued support your sharings, your likes, all this helps out the channel. And of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon appearing there. You guys can click on that to subscribe as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.